Hi, this is Ron from My Hero Design. And to use the bottom info bar, you're going to create a new scene, add animation slide, add flash animation, find the MHD bottom info bar 1.swf. This will be inside the folder you downloaded, and make sure you unzip it first. Add it in, make sure Don't Sketch is checked, click Add, and Scale Full Screen. Once you do that, you can close the canvas, and you'll see some activity here at the bottom. It's going to be faint and white, so you just want to play it again, and when you see all the text show up, text 4 will be the last one here, you just pause the slide. From here, to make things easier, let's go ahead and add in your background video. Okay, and now you can start seeing this a little bit clearer. Pause it again when all the text is in, and go to Slide tab, Customize this animation. Outline area 1 here is the info bar. So what you want to do is just reduce the opacity until you're happy with it. Somewhere around maybe 0.5, but really whatever, whatever looks good. From there, we can go to the image area, and there's one here, and you can browse if you want to use a logo, and just drop it in here, and we can play this animation now. Okay, we'll hit stop, play it from the top. Okay, so what I want to do again is play it until everything is there and pause it. I'm going to go to the text tab and I'm going to start updating my text. With the X and Y offset, I can move the text anywhere I want it. So even if you are not using a logo, you can just move that text all the way over there. I'll go to area 2. Okay, and if I need more space, I can shrink that font down. And then I can use the X and Y offsets to get that looking really good. I'll continue on here. By the way, all text is center aligned here, so you can manually fix these two, but that would be it. Uh, so I'm just going to put in So I can shrink this down a bit. And I can move this over. And that looks pretty good. Maybe move that back up. And now if I play the animation, this is going to be looking pretty sharp. Now you'll notice that it ends pretty quickly and disappears. So what you want to do there is if your video clip is longer than three seconds, you'll see if we close the button here, this close button, to get out of the animation, we can go to the SWF tab. You'll see that this plays for 72 frames. And since 24 frames is one second, this whole animation here, from start to finish, is three seconds. So if you want to extend it, you want to go to frame 50, because that's where the animation ends before exiting. That's when all the text is there. And 
Let's say my clip here is five seconds. I know that I have three here already. I just need to add another 48 here, just as an example. And when we play the animation, you'll see that after all of it appears, it's going to hang out here a little bit longer before disappearing. Now if you want to add another video clip and you want to have the same text and all the work that you did already, just duplicate. Click on the second one. Go to slide. Draw on previous slide. Click on that and say yes, I want to break it. Okay. And now I can go to the scene and add in my second movie. Okay, so now I have the same thing here and I don't have to redo my work. I also want to mention, I'll go here, I'm going to pause. When all the text shows up, right after the shine effect ends there, you can go in, slide, customize this animation, go to the outline, you can change this color, and you can change the text color here. Okay, so you have really unlimited options as far as, as, far as color combinations go. You can go back to that outline and reduce the opacity even more or add it in a little bit more, so whatever works best. Overall, white is always a good color to choose here, but you can, you know, if you want to make things stand out or focus on one element here, you can change up every text item. You have four of them here to mess with. So whatever works best, and then you can just preview your film here. And you see that you have a really professional bottom info bar ready for your videos with lots of options. If you have any questions or suggestions, email us at support at myherodesign.com. Thank you very much.